three strikes and you're out, my friends. <laughs> Three strikes. Three strikes and you're out, my friends. <laughs> Kamala should know that. After all, she's a cop, a top cop, right? Number one. She told Oprah yesterday that she's a gun owner wait for it, and if someone broke into her house, she'd shoot that person. <laughs> and then she said, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that, but my staff will take care of it. It was clearly a calculated moment. She wanted to make that comment viral, right? And Oprah facilitated it, but I'm sorry. Doesn't Kamala, the vice president, live in the vice president's mansion? Doesn't she have a security detail? Aren't the Secret Service designed to jump on her, right, in case of an attack? So where would she be shooting people? <laughs> That's just the start of the problem, right? Because at the beginning of the week, she said in response to the assassination attempt on Trump that there was no place for violence in America. But by the end of the week, she was advocating for vigilantism, which in my understanding of American history has basically exclusively been used against black people by white supremacists. So why is she now endorsing vigilantism? And how does that square with her past as a attorney general? Because I'm pretty sure it's not legal in California to stand your ground, but it's certainly legal in Florida, where my birthday twin, one Trayvon Martin, was gunned down by George Zimmerman, or does Kamala not fucking remember that, right? What about Black Lives Matter, Kamala? You're no Angela Davis, Kamala. You might make a mean Bolognese, but you have no vision for this country beyond your own self-aggrandizement and remuneration. Girlfriend, you legitimated the Biden administration, girl. Friend, let me repeat that. You legitimated the Biden administration, my friend. The only way to create change in the Union States of America is to abstain from the voting process. Kamala Harris is trying to run as an upstart when she's the incumbent. Prices are 20% higher in the four years that Harris, Biden have been in office. And what's more internationally, the world continues to go to hell in a handbasket because we have no power anymore in the United States. All we have are weapons and a material cash that could destroy the entire world, right? Just like Israel is slowly but surely doing. What is wrong with the Israeli government? Why? Won't they stop 
slaughtering their neighbors? Why does the Harris Biden administration continue to authorize and fund this unholy war? My Venus and my Mars are the same as Amal Clooney's. Kamala Harris may have a JD, but as I always remind my brother and his longtime girlfriend in Oakland, a JD is a hell of a lot easier to get than a fucking PhD. So is a goddamn MD. And I've got two PhDs, motherfuckers. A doctorate in philosophy and a pretty huge dick. Thank you, Kanye West. Thank you, Madonna. Thank you, Robert Maplethorpe. Thank you, David Voynerovich, and thank you, David Longmire. This world ain't shit, my friends. Kurt Cobain didn't die for fucking Kamala Harris to exploit the Black Panthers' legacy. The Black Panthers provided free food, and social services. The Black Panthers supported redistribution. The Black Panthers supported revolution. Kamala Harris is as bougie as they come. And girl's gonna lose this election because she's playing conservatively policy-wise, and strategically, she still has the fucking Biden campaign apparatus. <laughs> right? This country is stuck in a downward spiral because of the afterlives of slavery. The electoral college is one of the afterlives of slavery. Yale University agrees with me on that point. People act as if the Civil War didn't happen in this country. But today, at my boutique private school, it will remain nameless. Excuse me, I just got home. I was changing. And I thought, you know what? Kamala, 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 Kamala. What a problem is Kamala and her fucking enablers. Here's what's gonna happen, my friends. Unless we as a fucking country don't start changing our tune collectively, I think it's too late. Right? But the United States is going to increasingly lose its influence. It's going to increasingly become diverse. It's going to increasingly become multilingual. And then the white people and their enablers, Kamala Harris, right, propping up Joe Biden... Right? And we know Kamala knows history. She's shown flashes of it. Remember in the 2020 primary cycle when she spoke to Biden about her history around race? Why the fuck does she not speak on it now? Right? I mean, for Christ's sakes, the reason Barack Obama is a historic figure is he spoke on race. He spoke on race, right? He fucking spoke on race. Well, Kamala, fucking speak on race, girl. Okay, or did you forget 
your genealogies. Fucking John Coltrane would spit on you, bitch. Right? Fuck you. You're no Taria. And Oprah is certainly no Alice Walker. Okay? Dunzo, Oprah. Dunzo. The color purple is only significant because of its author. And Alice Walker doesn't support genocide. Alice Walker doesn't support the military industrial complex. And Alice Walker certainly doesn't support mass incarceration. Read Golden Gulag, you fucking idiots. And then liberate your minds from mental slavery, right? Maybe you wouldn't have to fucking drink so much or smoke so much or fucking do drugs of any sort so much, right? Fuck this country. Fuck this world. You're only as good as your relationships and my relationships, mwah, chef's kiss. My relationships are golden and I don't like people wasting my time the way that Kamala has, right? Fucking walk the walk, girl. Think what would Alice Walker do Because right now, we're headed towards the walking dead territory, okay? With uh, these headless horsemen, right? Think she's so tough, Kabbalah! These headless horsemen leading the charge. It's so stupid, right? Take a fucking chill pill, right? What about love? Right? Since when is a fucking Northern California of her generation afraid to say the word peace? Berkeley, you're a crying shame if you keep letting this go on. Right? But of course, there's a shrine to Kamala and Berkeley, right? Group think. The one thing I don't do mm -hmm. this what I'm gonna post number two ciao for now